Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating and interpreting partial correlations in SPSS. So what partial correlations allow us to do is to examine the strength and direction of relationship between two variables while controlling for the influence of a third variable. So looking at these fictitious data, I have an ID variable, an experience variable, and this is experience measured in months. I have an exam score variable and a supervisor evaluation variable. So let's assume that this exam is administered when a counseling student graduates from a master's program. So that this exam score is always going to be collected at the same time. But the supervisor evaluation, uh, say the supervisor where that counseling student works, that's gathered at different times. And you can see the experience that the counseling student would have accumulated would actually be the difference between when the exam score was administered and when the supervisor evaluation was collected. The concern in a research design like this is that we believe there's a relationship between the exam score and the supervisor evaluation, and we want to see what that relationship is and then evaluate it. But we're concerned that the experience in months, this variable here, could be explaining some of that relationship. So we want to control for the experience level and see just the relationship between the exam score and the supervisor evaluation. So really looking at the exam score and supervi supervisor evaluation relationship while partialing out the influence from experience. So before we get started with the analysis, there are some assumptions that have to be met for a partial correlation the variables must be collected at the scale level. That would be the interval or ratio level, which SPSS refers to as scale. So looking at the variable view here, you can see these are all set to scale. Even though, of course, the ID is really nominal, but that's not going to be part of the calculation. The observations need to be independent. There needs to be a linear, linear relationship between the two variables. They need to be normally distributed and arranged in match pairs. And the variance observed in the scores on X must be similar at all levels of Y. To run the partial correlation, we'll go to Analyze and then Correlate. And you can see there's a few choices here we want partial. This is a partial correlation. I'm going to uh, reset this. So in options, uh, we're going to want the means and standard deviations and the zero order correlations. And click continue. For the list box here under variables, we want the two variables, the two main variables we want to correlate. Right. So in this case, that would be exam score and then the supervisor evaluation because we would theorize that these two would be positively correlated. And we want to control for, it says controlling for here, experience. So we're going to be looking at the correlation between exam score and supervisor evaluation while controlling for experience. So from here, we just click OK. And we can see here on the descriptives, the exam score, we have a mean 37. The supervisor evaluation, which we've measured on a different instrument, has a mean of 86. So that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a low correlation. There's different instruments, going to be different output levels. For example, the maximum score in the exam may be 45, whereas in the supervisor evaluation it may be 125. 
and then you have experience of months and you have a uh, average there of 11 months of experience and then below that you have this table it's divided into two sections and this is the uh, correlations and then the influence after controlling for the third variable so in these first three rows the control variable this is this is not considering the control variable uh, in relation to the two variables of interest right so this would be uh, exam score and its correlation to the supervisor evaluation is 0.78 so that is a large correlation and then you can see you can see the exam score and its relationship to experience that's also a large correlation 0.535 and both of course are positive and then of course the last relationship would be between a supervisor evaluation and experience and you see that's a medium-sized correlation at 0.414 so one important element to take away here is that the not you know not controlling for experience the relationship between exam score and supervisor evaluation is 0.78 and as I mentioned that's a large positive correlation then as we move down to the second part of this table this part does consider the third variable this does control for the influence of experience in the relationship between exam score and the supervisor evaluation scores and as you can see that relationship is 0.726 so a large relationship and a positive one and not very different from the 0.78 there is a difference it is a lower correlation when you control for experience but it's not a lot lower both results the relationship between exam score and supervisor evaluation without considering experience and the relationship when controlling for experience both are statistically significant you see here 0 0.000 so we have statistical significance in both instances so in this example we would say that experience does have a relationship it does influence the relationship here but because we still have significance either way we can say that a strong relationship still exists between exam score and supervisor evaluation even when we control for experience. I hope you found this video on using partial correlations in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.